Hi guys, welcome back to Woodward Sun Custom. Today we have Shield Box for July 2024. And for those of you that are new to the channel or new watching this subscription unboxing, this white box, as unassuming as it is, usually carries a lot of goodness. And this one's fairly heavy and sounds like there's a lot of stuff in there. So hopefully this one is as good as all the others. So far, this is uh, one, subscri one subscription box that has not um, really let me down. There's been a couple of months where they weren't as great as others, but for the most part, hasn't let me down, whereas most other subscription boxes have. This is one of the notable few that hasn't. Um, it's, they usually don't have a lot of overly sexy stuff in here that make you just go, wow, but they normally have nothing but good quality stuff. So, um, and they also have this way of doing they're curating where it normally piggybacks, you know, the items piggyback on each other, complement each other, however you want to put that. And it's not always 100% true, but uh, most of the time that is the case. So anyway, I guess it's time for me to shut up and just show you the goods, huh? So anyway, that's what it looks like right now. We'll put this right here, and I'll see if I can find the card. Here's the card that always comes with it. As you can see, unlike some boxes, they do give you at least an MSRP. You can usually expect to pay a little bit less than that uh, on the street, but Shieldbox actually usually does a pretty good job of being very close. Um, they give you an estimated value for the regular box, and the standard, and for the Pro, and guess what? We're doing the Pro. So um, the July, the, the July, 2024 shield box pro starts off with a sog knives sog studies and observation group however you want to call them the aegis flk folding knife it says the aegis flk brings a no-nonsense all-metal construction frame lock featuring a kick development built on the or deployment built on the proven sog aegis platform Aegis FLK is the perfect folding knife built to last, featuring durable all metal construction, deep carry pocket clip, and a kick for smooth and fast opening. So we will see. Ah, it got all smashed. All right. So, there you go. So, as is too often the case, you gotta use a knife to open the knife. get this bad boy out of here oh how sweet they protect me from the pokies all right so there you go all right um, overall first impressions seems to be fairly well built um, frame like a frame lock is nice and sturdy on it that is, has one heck of a uh, flipper tab on it Mm. the blade does seem to feel a little I don't know a little not there it's like it seems overly light and the action on it is I don't know it's doing better now but that first one it uh, didn't really alright I guess it's working itself out it's working okay now but uh it's definitely not the smoothest deployment I've felt. Um, and it says this is Cryo 440 steel made in China. So there's that. The pocket clip seems to be all right. I mean, overall, it seems to be a decent knife. They have it listed at $39.99. And I would say I would probably pay about 30 bucks for it. Yeah, 30 40 bucks maybe. Um, I wouldn't go any more than that for it, definitely. Um, but overall, not a, not a bad little knife. And did I forget to bring cut and cash with me? I did. So, we got this little slip of paper hanging out here. All right, it is nice and nice and sharp. Has some decent jimping here. This choil is not, uh, the, the flipper tab creates a heck of a choil there. Um, I actually kind of dig that. The, um, yeah, overall the aesthetics are okay. The uh, layout is actually kind of nice. It's very sharp. Um, if you can get over the fact that it's made in China, it uh, actually wouldn't be a bad little EDC knife at the price point. Oh, there we go again. 
you uh, that is one thing that I that I really don't like about it is the action is spotty you have to really I don't know if you can tell but I'm giving it a little extra not really a, a flip but I'm having to use my finger a lot more than I normally do and as you can see if you just do it normally it's kind of half the time it works half the time it doesn't so it could use a little bit better action on it other than that overall at the price point not a bad knife so got that out of the way what we got next we have the 1350 apparel American original t-shirt uh, it has an MSRP of $29.99. It says a relaxed fit shirt strategically constructed for maximum comfort featuring a patriotic logo just in time for Independence Day. Ooh. You know, actually, I got this right after, um, just a couple days after the 4th of July. But anyway, uh, 13, uh, for Independence Day, uh, where was I? 1350 Apparel. A law enforcement family owned and operated business was created and designed in 2016 by Chris, a South Florida LEO, who set out to create a brand that far exceeds just manufacturing products, but supporting and backing all first responders in the line of duty. All right, so I think I see that here. All right, it's 1350 branded, 60% cotton, 40% polyester. polyester says it's assembled in China, so that's where the blank came from, and then printed in the USA. So, let me see. And, and it's a size smaller than what I wear, so that's a kind of a downer, but I'm not going to bother trying it on because, you know, you guys don't need to see what a sausage skin looks like. You can go to the supermarket and find that out. Um, but anyway, this it feels like pretty decent quality. That's what the front looks like. Back is bare. You do have a shield box assaulting flag on the right sleeve, nothing on the left sleeve. Yeah, overall, it uh, feels like a pretty decent shirt. I'm not sure I'd pay 30 bucks for this. Uh, probably more like 20, but uh, yeah, still not bad, not bad. It's close to filler territory, but not bad. Next, at $19, we have the Cobra Fire Blanket. It says Cobra Emergency Fire Blankets are made from high-grade 430-plus GSM, 100% fiberglass fabric. The blankets withstand extreme temperatures up to 1,076 degrees Fahrenheit and meet rigorous safety standards set by CE and SGS, making them an indispensable addition to any comprehensive emergency kit. In an emergency, simply pull down the tabs, spread the cover blanket over the fire to smother the flames and turn off the heat source. It can also be employed to cover your body for added protection in a fire survival situation. Alright. So, there you have it. Actually, that'd fit pretty nicely in a that'd fit pretty nicely in a uh, bag. But, uh, there you go. I don't really want to deal with taking the whole thing out, spreading it out, and then having to put it back together and everything, but uh, fairly thick material here. It feels pretty substantial and, and all that. Um, I like the fact that it has these quick deploy tabs so you can just rip it out. That's pretty cool. But uh, not something I would have thought to buy for myself or my family, really. Um, but as I'm looking at it and read you know as we read about it on the card I'm thinking you know that's really not a bad idea I mean everybody thinks fire extinguishers and stuff but uh, what about one of these uh, you can easily put these in a pack put it in your car glove box map pocket console under a seat whatever um, you could very easily have these hanging up next to your stove at the, at the house or whatnot yeah I actually kind of dig this. Um, that's something I never would have thought to get on my own, but that's that's pretty freaking cool, I think. And then next we have the handcuff helper from Zach Tool at 575. The handcuff helper is an accessory that prevents small wrists from slipping through fully closed handcuffs, easy to install and impossible to remove while the cuff is closed on a wrist. Provides the ultimate security against cuff slipping while reducing wrist injury from abrasion. Fits most standard chain link handcuffs. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, where's that at? I'm not seeing that. Ah, there we go. Alright, so pretty self explanatory. Just a couple of pieces of uh, plastic there that are designed to fit in there and keep uh, keep people from little bit wrists popping out and 
getting away or doing something nefarious. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. Again, not something I would have bought, bought on my own, but uh, pretty cool. I don't have a pair of handcuffs up here with me, so I can't really see taking them out of the package because I can't really do anything with them to show you how they work. Um, and that was all of the standard box, which was valued at ninety-four seventy-three. And I might add, if you want to get your own Shield Box Pro subscription, or you just want to check out their website, there'll be a description in the link below. And uh, if you follow that link, it will help out the channel a little bit, but it won't cost you anything. And it might just get you some really cool gear coming your way, right? All right. So anyway, in the uh, for the uh, pro item, July twenty twenty four. We have the Nightcore EDC-25 valued at $74.95. It says the EDC-25 is both the ultimate compact duty light and off-duty lighting solution. The EDC-25 is an ultra-high performance compact flashlight cable of a 3000 lumen max and a max beam throw of 328 yards. So not too bad. Designed to be easily carried in your pocket or uh, on webbing or in a pack. It has a thin build of only 0.84 inches and weighs just 3.67 ounces. USB-C rechargeable and features four brightness levels, a turbo mode, and a strobe. All right, so let's see what we got. All right, you know, very Olight-esque packaging here. All right, so back you got your cord and everything there to charge it we're going to hope this baby is charged already all right let's see what we got here i think yeah. all right so you have it out of the out of the package and into the wild there's your charging port right there cover on it uh, A little chart here for your battery output. Actually, it has some. That's a pretty nice little touch. It has knurling right here on both sides to help you keep uh, keep a grip on it because it is. Other than that, it is pretty slick. Um, so okay, so took a little bit of doing, but I finally got it going here. I'm gonna turn off these lights. I may have a little ambient light left, but. Uh, there's that and there's your battery output um, you can cycle through the brightness there so that's pretty cool on off cycle through brightness there's a lock feature on it be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure how we get it to the strobe and all that like they were talking about. But overall, I mean, it seems to be pretty well built. Um, pretty bright, I think. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'll have to play around with it a little bit more. I mean, I apologize for not being better at uh, reviewing this particular flashlight, but since we just you know just got it in the box I wasn't anticipating getting it and everything all right so anyway the uh, the light itself is uh, I don't know it's pretty slick it does have knurling here like I said to help keep it in your hand it does have a nice sturdy pocket clip there um, overall it seems like a nice night a uh, nice uh, night core light I don't know if I would pay 80 bucks for this um, well, for the same price point, I think I can get a little bit uh, more user-friendly flashlights uh, out there. But I could be wrong. Uh, anyway, I mean, you can let me know what you think about it. But uh, anyway, that is your entire Pro Box. And it has an estimated value of $169.68. Again, if you want to get your own subscription, you can uh, check out the, uh, hit the link in the description below. Um, a few parting shots here. Overall, I think the stuff in the in the box this month was useful. Uh, I can live live without the shirt, especially since it was the wrong size. But um, that's the first time I've gotten the wrong size of anything from them. So I'll give them a pass on that. It did feel a little fillery, 
but uh, I'm, I'm going to chalk it up to they're trying to help out a, uh, a law enforcement backed company and uh, they're trying to show them a little love as to how I'm going to look at that and that's a good thing. We should look out for each, for each other in the 2A community, the patriotic community, law enforcement community, any, uh, anything that falls under the, uh, the uh, arms related communities out there, the people that want to do right by the Constitution, the country, they, um, they, want, um, uh, they want good laws, they want to keep criminals off the street, they want us to, uh, our constitutional rights protected and all that kind of stuff. If a company's doing all that, then I say, hey, we do uh, what we can to support them. I mean, just my opinion. But anyway, um, in this box, we also got a $10 credit for, let's see, for anything off the Shield Box gear store. Because they do sell a la carte gear, not just the, uh, not just this stuff. And we've got a little thing from... 1350. Um, 1350 apparel. So there you go. You can scan that and see what's what. But uh, again, overall, not super sexy, but everything I uh, I believe I can use everything that's there, except for the shirt, which I can always give to somebody else in the family. But anyway, uh, you guys let me know what you think about the box. So if you want to. Uh, support the channel there are a number of other ways um, you can become a channel member just click join there's three different tiers a bunch of different perks for each one um, subscribe if you haven't put the little thumb up um, if you like the video if you like this kind of content um, both of those things are free they're easy they don't cost you a thing and they do help out the channel they help jog that algorithm get more to a content out there um, share the video that's important as well and if you really want to be up to date on when things drop then hit the bell notification and click all on that so uh, anyway like I said there's a bunch of different ways to support the channel and this is an expensive channel to uh, to uh, keep up and running because uh, about 90 percent of everything I do is on my own dime I do get a little love here and there um, occasionally but for the most part it's uh, whatever uh, whatever I have on my my own whatever comes through patreon or shirt sales or what have you so uh, anyway that's my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel in whatever way you do please continue to do so and consider uh, supporting a little bit more so that uh, I can keep this thing going and hopefully uh, make the content bigger better brighter faster whatever uh, just make it more and uh, until next time remember that uh, I, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys that have been through uh, through this with me from the start, and uh, I hope you continue with me, uh, see where this thing goes, and uh, help out. I do have some pretty lofty goals for this year. Who knows if I can actually attain them or not, but uh, um, I really need to get the word out, and I can't do any of this without uh, you guys. So thank you again for all your support uh, over the last couple of years, and hopefully the support that you'll give me uh, moving forward. But uh, until next time, watch your six and carry on. Wayward Sun, out.